Tim Morozov, or Tim Frost in English, is a Russian YouTuber who goes into places that spirits want him to stay out of. This time, he has his eyes on an entire village that's been evacuated due to the presence of something mysterious, something neither you nor I can see. He picks the creepiest, most haunted looking cabin of them all, and unlike most ghost hunters, sets up high quality lighting to catch every last detail. It isn't long before Tim Frost thinks he sees a mist floating before his very eyes, but to be honest, I don't see anything. Var. That mirror, on the other hand, is hard to miss. Tim takes it off the wall and is busy inspecting it with what sounds like beads falling off a necklace hit the floor from behind. If this is fake, then someone must have climbed the cabin and poured something onto the roof to create this sound, but that still doesn't explain what happens next. A ghost brushes by and hits the microphone of his camera at 12 minutes and 3 seconds. The mic moves by itself and everything, or maybe Tim's just slightly shaking it to create the illusion of movement. Then his light short circuits, unless, that is, he hits the strobe effect and then turns it off himself. Tim Frost knows that he has to explore the entire cabin, and that includes the basement. He takes the freaky mirror down there with him and starts snapping pictures with an old Polaroid camera for evidence. That's when a brick falls near him. There's a good chance he placed it there himself, because this ledge is an odd place for a brick to just so happen to be perched upon. But right as I say, I notice an orb fly over the brick right as it falls. So now I'm back to thinking it could be real and paranormal. Tim Frost unfortunately gets chased out by locals before he can gather much more evidence. He returns on a different day and selects another cabin. This one happens to still have power, which is odd, but I guess the electrical company could have made a mistake and not switched it off yet. Anyway, at 3 minutes and 45 seconds, he records this strange, flickering white light against the wall. It stays with him for more than a minute, but then, at 6 minutes and 10 seconds, it goes away, almost like it goes into the next room, and then this happens. <laughs> Suddenly, the lights go out and Tim finds himself alone in the dark, or so he thinks. He uses an EMF meter to track something moving around with him, and when he hones in on its exact position, his lights start messing up. Also, an eerie mist is visible around his flashlight, but maybe it's dust. He follows the EMF meter up to an attic. His flashlight is flickering badly now, even though it was a solid beam only minutes before. What he hears next is not fake in my opinion. Too light to be a person, and yet all too near. In fact, it sounded like it was this door. But when he looks inside for himself, nothing is there. And get this, the flashlight of his camera is not the last of his lighting problems that night. When he set up his professional studio lights, lights that he's never had a problem with before, they can't seem to stay on either. I would say that this was from faulty wiring with the cabin, but I think this light is running on its own battery and isn't plugged in at all. Inside a creepy cupboard full of antique dolls and antiquated photographs lies a poltergeist. Don't let him out. Published by The Haunted One.
The uploader shows us that the cupboard sticks and is difficult to open. The cupboard houses a skull, some baby shoes, an eyeless porcelain doll, and a number of black and white photographs. Footage of the room in the darkness shows the cabinet bursting open on its own. Or did one of these haunted dolls try to get out? They're obviously here to possess you. That's pretty strong because it's not that easy to open. And what's in here are some old photos that I've acquired. This abandoned house ended up being one of the most active places that the YouTube team from iConjure TV has ever investigated. Here's just one example. Lost. Something definitely fell or moved. You can hear it plain as day. Get lost. I don't know what that was, but I think they should get out of there as quickly as they can before it's too late. A ghost hunting channel called Holy Walkers is exploring an abandoned building at 3 a.m. to catch some spirits on video. The first thing they notice is a discarded bike and a pile of clothing in the front yard. So either people occupy this building or something extremely terrible happened here. They keep thinking they hear voices, but nothing is really getting picked up on video. One thing they do record, though, is a noise that sounds like a firework or a shot. Did you hear? What was that? I think this sound might be paranormal because it's hard to tell its exact location, which means it might be residual energy from a bad event. After a bit of searching, they find a discarded round on the floor. While they are pondering what could have happened here, they hear another phantom shot and all go running. Either someone was trying to scare them off, or something seriously paranormal is there. YouTube Team Extinct File explores an abandoned mansion where they're tormented by ghost children. Inside the dark and dreary place, they find this unsettling picnic. They turn toward another room and a moment later see this. Ay, Dios. No mames. After a while, they hear some barking in the distance and then something much closer. Todo esto es de mármol, güey. As they head upstairs to investigate, this happens. Later, they try to communicate with the ghost children. Que se quiera comunicar con nosotros. This is what they saw. Did you see it too? I'm pretty certain that was a ghost child, and if it was, the crew had better watch their backs. In this video by Nathan Hughes, published this year, the YouTuber's dog Molly is visibly trembling as it stares off into space, huddled in fear on the sofa. What's wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Molly? What is it? Are you okay? When asked if she wants a biscuit, Molly just looks over and goes back to staring and trembling at whatever she's seeing, completely ignoring the biscuit that her owner set on the pillow beside her. She is staring towards the door near the kitchen, shaking nervously when the owner tells her to eat her treat, nudging it closer to her mouth. She just continues staring in frozen fear. Then the owner walks around the front, facing the dog, asking what she's looking at, but she doesn't move a muscle. He closes the door to see if anyone is standing behind it. 
No one. Nothing is there. Throughout the entire video, Molly refuses to listen to her owner. Maybe the paranormal vision she saw made her lose her appetite or left her in so much fear that she is unable to move. Mangurdas Tremonis is exploring the bottom of a local lake when he spots a round object that doesn't match the rest of the scenery. After some resistance, he plucks free a crustacean-covered cranium that's clearly once belonged to a human. It must have been down there for quite a while, because now large aquatic life appears to be growing all over the surface and slowly breaking the organic matter down. Either this is the real thing, or else it's a very good-looking prop. Let me know which one you think it is. There's a place in Niagara Falls, known only as the Screaming Tunnel, a short path where a maniac father is said to have huffed out the life of his own daughter in a fit of rage, then accidentally set himself ablaze after spilling oil from his lantern and lighting a match. Ever since this terrible event, the tunnel refuses to hold a flame of any kind. Now a group of friends want to see if the legend is true. This is the first attempt. Pause it. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, there is a spark with no flame. Weird, right? Well, it's about to get a whole lot weirder. With no wind at all, one of them even puts their hands in front just to make sure they try again. We're going through this box, dude. <laughs> Still nothing. I was thinking maybe the matches were wet or something, but no, not at all. I think this match would have stayed lit if they were anywhere but in the screaming tunnel. And of course, once they step outside... You don't see them. Outside the tunnel, the match stays lit up. And it's not like one of them didn't know how to light a match or something and another one could. Whoever this is wears a necklace in both shots. It's the same person the whole time. So with this evidence in mind, the only conclusion I can come to is that the screaming tunnel is all too real. Who's there? Redditor style 26 Serrano says remodeling was being done in this vacant apartment complex of four and the owner of the property was downstairs with him at the time. So who is making this noise? Did you hear it? There's definitely someone there, but whether they're supposed to be there or not is the next question. My guess would be this place has squatters. You've never heard of the rake. You're about to. YouTuber Apex TV notes that this clip was caught in a Mexican park writing. Many claim the strange creature is a legendary creature known as the rake. Now what's the rake, you ask? Described as humanoid-like in appearance, the legendary creature is said to go after humans and other animals for no known reason and is cited as a possible proxy to the mysterious tall and skinny woodland lurker. According to records, the first account of a rake, in which the writer uses the creature's name, appears in a 1691 mariner's log. The next written description appears in the 1800s, charging the rake with being absolutely terrifying with hollow black eyes. After hearing of these accounts and descriptions of the forest creature, does this mysterious figure atop the playground appear to be the rake to you, or do you believe it's something else? If so, what? A YouTuber named Faster Than Pasta is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board and manages to contact a 44-year-old spirit named Simon. Simon doesn't appear to be very happy about being summoned and interrogated by some kids, so he spells out his displeasure. Uh, do you want to be friends? Um, we're so, we're so sorry. Less than 10 minutes later, Faster Than Pasta begins to look different and feel strange. 
She looks at her hands as though they are foreign objects, and then her head goes down. Her knees give out and she falls to the ground, woozy. When she recovers, she looks over at her friend Jimmy only to discover that now he is the one acting strange. It seems as if Simon the spirit is switching between both of them at will. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, what, what are you doing? What happened? Eventually, Jimmy too passes out with absolutely no recollection of what happened upon waking. Tell me if you think they are really getting possessed or just acting. Parts of this video look pretty convincing, but I can't say for sure. Schwinn Protocol wants to remodel his dreary basement, which only has a dirt floor. After digging many layers down, he finds this rusty old entranceway that presumably extends even deeper. He doesn't really have a good feeling about this at all, but he needs to know everything about the basement before he can get the job done, so he has to see for himself what's on the other side. He lifts the heavy cement plug, and white orbs soon follow, though I guess they could also be dust particles. Either way, he is puzzled to find a wide cavern filled with darkness. As his light traces along the rough edges of the floor, he slowly begins to piece together some unnerving observations out loud. Uh, that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. So definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there. I can't, wouldn't be able to fit a ladder down there though, so. So basically, this is a deep hole with an entrance that's too small for an adult, but just the right size to squeeze through a child. I'm not sure what this was really used for, but I do agree that it's weird to have a random hole in your basement that's easy to fall into and tough if not impossible to get out. To be fair, the YouTuber later wrote in the description that he thinks it was part of a drainage system that's no longer in use. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to explain something that he wishes he never saw. Someone could have spent their entire childhood down there for all we know. This gray fish is frozen solid and obviously not moving at all. Yet within 20 seconds of being put in this liquid solution, something bizarre happens. I'm pretty sure this is nothing more than warm water, but maybe there is some sort of chemical in it that can bring frozen animals back to life. Then again, maybe this fish just hibernates for the winter and comes back to life naturally when the temperature warms. Let me know what you think is going on here. And if you think what you've seen is a miracle like the uploader of this video claims, Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we lived in to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her, because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you, and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Kaza Sabre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something, and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. Is that a noose? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. They hear something again and start to head upstairs. But they soon wish they wouldn't have. Pega aí. Vamos sair daqui. Vamos sair daqui. 
Ô, cara! Meu Deus do céu, Sam! O que aconteceu? Ô, velho! O que aconteceu, Lucas? Ô, Lucas! What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. Who knows what is watching in the darkness? This YouTuber may have captured a spirit stalking him in this graveyard. Watch to the right of the tree. Watched at a slower speed, you can definitely see a figure peeking out at the driver. It's unclear what the figure is. It's even unclear if it's human or post-human. But this one looks legit to me. And if I were this YouTuber, I'd get out of that graveyard ASAP. Who knows what is watching him? Or why? This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then... Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusun2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. Does this internet cafe have some unwanted customers? Redditor Juice173 thinks it does. He explains that he works in pest control, and this internet cafe was one of his clients. After seeing this footage, the owner insisted that he still has rats. Here is the surveillance video. Here's a clip from another angle. It's strange to me that something falls off of the shelf or is pushed right before the entire thing breaks. I would say it's just a matter of shoddy workmanship rather than something paranormal if it wasn't for that. But this makes me think that there's something more complex going on here, and I see no rats. A YouTuber named 614Life has a massive blockage in his shower drain, and now the water will barely go down. To fix this, he uncaps the drain and sticks a long plastic tool down the hole in search of the problem. Oh, this is disgusting. In less than 10 seconds, he is pulling up glob after glob of wet hair that is probably already weeks old. There we go, yeah. Now that we're getting down in there, we get all the way down. As far as I'll let you go. The clog looks thick and full to begin with, but as he gets to the meaty center, the situation gets out of control until finally he finds himself ripping up huge chunks with an actual pair of pliers. This section is probably months old and gives him a lot of resistance. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god. And if you haven't already almost lost your lunch, he picks up the mess with his bare hands to give you a closer look. Then he drops it with a sickening wet slap. This is hair. The Haunted Hunters Lodge in the UK has hosted many paranormal investigators, and now YouTube team Moxley's Paranormal World is among those who dare to brave a visit. While inside the lodge, Mox sees something behind Amy at the window. Look at yours there. Amy, something. Oh, what, Mox? Please don't. No. Uh. 
Honestly, something or someone would just stood at that window. But when they look outside, there's no one there. He killed us. They couldn't have been. I, I, I went to look at the K2 and there was a fate. Like somebody was stood here. I thought somebody was going to like... The spirits then tell the team their story via a paranormal device. That's, like, that's, that's just mental. There's more of us. I'm in the corner. Died a long time ago. Innocent. Please go Let right. Let us rest. It's dangerous. I died. He killed us. You're safe here. Violet, Andrea. Let us rest. While I didn't see what Mock saw in the window, the tail on the device sends chills down my spine. Maybe they should do as the spirits ask and just let them rest. Got insomnia? This scary video won't help. Published by Little Genius in February of 2022, the following footage was captured while this poor soul was sleeping. Or trying to. Slowly, the blankets are pulled down from the man's shoulders. He pulls them back up, but it happens again, and then a third time. But this doesn't seem to get the sleeping man's attention. A water bottle balanced on his headboard falls onto the bed. He replaces it and continues to sleep, but the bottle soon wobbles to the side and falls again. Next, a chair with a teddy bear slides forward on its own. Moments later, it scoots forward even more. It then tips backward, falling onto the floor and finally waking the man up. What entity is interfering with this guy's sleep? Whoever it is, it succeeded. This man will never sleep again. This video, supposedly leaked by a former NASA employee while orbiting the Earth from space, apparently shows the fabled Black Knight satellite in action. According to theorists, the Black Knight satellite is actually thousands of years old and made by extraterrestrials, not humans. Many people believe that NASA is going to great lengths to cover up the existence of this foreign object, as well as whoever created it. The video itself looks pretty old, possibly from the 60s or 70s. The quality is grainy due to either aging or CGI effects. Based on what you've seen here, tell me if you think this is a real cover-up or just video editing. Redditor ZZZ747's neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and they just want some answers. Watch the top right corner of the yard. A strange smoke figure drifts into view before curling up the side of the house and then vanishing completely. While it could be exactly what it looks like, smoke, it appears and disappears in a strange way. Watch again. Some in the comments think it's just someone vaping. Others think it's a dryer vent. I think it could be either of these things, but I agree with the Redditor that it does seem to appear out of nowhere, and its behavior seems odd. What do you think it is? YouTube team The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations is spending the night at this place at Harmon Road. I can't say exactly what went on in this building, but let's just say men would pay to be with the women who worked there. Before long, one of their REM pods goes off. Oh, yeah, so it's been a minute. Did you hear that? There's a REM pod. Did you hear it? I heard a thump. No, 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 that was me walking on this, but I heard the REM pod go off. They continue their search and meet an unwanted guest. Could you? Whoa. No, 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 no. Did you see that, dude? I did. I was a. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's a bat. As they're trying to communicate through paranormal devices, they hear a sound in the building. Look at that, look at that. Is that you? I'm not close enough. No. And it'd still be going off if that yeah. was me.
A moment later, a bang is heard. But it's not necessarily that the words are making sense. Heard. Crash. I heard that, bro. Did you hear that? And then another. <gasps> I know you heard that, bro. In another hallway, they hear what sounds like talking. I heard some something. The spirit seems to want them to stay. Do you want us to stay? Whoa. Did you hear that? That was really nice. I swear to God, it sounded like something, something came right, like walked up. When they knock, the spirit knocks back. Can you make a noise like this? <gasps> Did you hear that? It was like almost immediate, yes. bro. It was like, gung gung. And then they hear this unnerving moan. <laughs> oh, what the? I heard a before that. Did you hear the breath before that? I know you heard that, dude. It was like. <sighs> In another room, one of their paranormal devices goes off. Can you step away? See, that wouldn't. They keep hearing these mysterious noises. What the? I heard a whistle. And yeah. then I heard something in there go like, Kum. That's exactly what I heard, it was the whistle part. And their devices continue to be triggered. Also got the, ooh. Okay. Also got the SLS camera, or sorry, the. I think there are too many creepy, unexplained noises in this building to suggest anything but paranormal activity. I also propose that this channel consider renaming this video to Did You Hear That Bro? Did you hear that bro? That was loud. A team of ghost investigators patrol through a dark farmhouse at 3am and set up their equipment. Suddenly their thoughts are interrupted by an overwhelmingly powerful force. Hey, over here. What was that? What was that? An adjacent door flies open soon as they shine their flashlight up into the attic. The team feels like they are being watched from something outside. They're talking about what to do next when they witness another display of brute force. We get to experience an EVP session in the creepy abandoned house. Something smashes the window out and they see what appears to be a white apparition slowly walking away. The object has no distinct shape and somehow seems to be both near and far at the same time. What the f that? <gasps> Holy There's somebody out there! All of them scramble to the car and take one last look as they leave. It's really hard to see, but zoom in on the window and you'll see a head move away on the left side. Let me know if you see what I mean or not. Never in a million years should you cross this bridge. Posted to TikTok by Real Horror Talk, a man on a motorcycle enters onto a narrow wooden bridge crossing a wide and fast moving river. There are no railings. Let's watch. As he rides steadily across, he looks to his right and then to his left. The water is flowing rapidly past. He continues on as if he does this every day, and maybe he does. Those in the comments say when he looked left, they fell in the water. Others say it's like a terrible dream, but TikToker Trust Me has a more accurate reading. He writes, How my parents got to school. I think we've all been there. A group of divers go exploring off Miller's Point in South Africa, a place where giant sea life can pose quite a problem. But it's not what they find that makes this diving video scary so much as what it is they lose. At 4 minutes and 17 seconds, one of them starts to thrash around and has to be extracted by two friends. He has lost his sense of direction because everything is one color, no floor, no ceiling, and easy to lose track of unless you keep focus. Now up has become down, left has become right. He has no idea where he is and his mind is spinning, a condition known as vertigo. Once you are in this confused state, it's easy to keep swimming farther down because you think you are going to reach the surface at any moment. 
Eventually, the underwater pressure becomes too much to handle and you can guess the rest. When they bring him to the surface, you can see that it's a good thing they intervened in time. He later says he blacked out and doesn't remember any of the scary moments they've caught on camera. There was little chance of him reaching the surface on his own and he pretty much owes them his life. So take this video as an example why you should never go diving alone unless you want to risk the same thing happening to you with no one to save your life. What happens when a child opens his mom's Camaro car door in a Target parking lot and it accidentally dings a guy's car? Well, things escalated quickly and that's what happens. At least if you run into this unfortunate lady. You said that he hit the car, didn't you? You said he hit the car, didn't you? I did. You did. Yeah. You did. So get on the phone and tell him that you said that he hit the car. Jay Rios published this video in September of 2016 writing, Her son accidentally dings my car. No big deal. But after I inform her of what had happened and requested insurance info, she proceeds to deny what happened and resorts to verbally attacking my wife and I in front of her two kids and my boy. And that appears to be exactly what's happening in this video. The woman is seen storming all over the parking lot. As the man's wife is on the phone to the police, she's screaming in the background, they're lying. Amidst her rant, she asks her son to show her where he hit the car. And after she wanders off, her son does admit, the door landed right here, while pointing out the dent on the man's car door. Jay Rios also updated the video descriptor to answer some questions for the audience. He tells us that despite the drama-filled six minutes of this video, the scene ended very anticlimactically. The cops arrived and gave him information on how to file a claim if need be at the auto body shop, but they didn't care about the video, even though he had a witness who confirmed that the crazy woman had struck him. He says he can't blame them because the woman was still going off when they were there and even resorted to telling the police off. After taking his vehicle to the shop a couple days later, the shop verified that the dent could be fixed with paintless dent repair for less than $100, a cost so low that he wasn't going to file a claim, especially since the woman's son told her the truth and she just didn't want to hear it. NASA scientists are in the middle of conducting a nine-hour space experiment when this strangely haunting static fills their ears. NASA experts describe the noise only as complex signals. They think it could be anything from equipment vibrations to gravity waves, but I think it sounds like it could be some radio signal from another galaxy. Many believe that some kind of life form was trying to contact us, and I agree that's a definite possibility, especially considering the sound was only heard for a single minute and never again. Either way, the mysterious sound you've just heard was recorded in 2014 and has been baffling experts ever since. No clear explanation has ever been provided, so I'd like to get yours if possible. Jeff Kessler is camping in the middle of nowhere all by himself when a low rumbling noise jolts him awake. It's coming from just outside his tent. He bravely investigates the perimeter of his campsite, armed with only a flashlight. After some searching, he finally comes across the creature that woke him up a few minutes earlier. It appears to be an oddly shaped humanoid creature with broad hips and shoulders, but skinny limbs and a narrow head. Jeff only briefly catches it on camera before turning to run. Apparently, park rangers found his camera under this heavy and mysterious structure of bundled trees, but no signs of Jeff himself. I could find no news articles to verify this story as real, so it could just be an art project. Then again, or maybe it was even a cover-up. Let me know what you think. On a trip to Thailand, YouTuber Ddoc Michael skipped the beaches and instead spent his holiday exploring this intensely haunted house. Upon entering, he hears whispers. <sighs>
He continues his exploration but is scared off by another voice. Still, he stays. As his search goes on, he hears another noise. Who are you? And at last, he sees what's making it. The stranger in the abandoned place is ready to throw down. Who are, who are, who are you? Hey. Michael runs off, thankfully escaping unharmed. To me, this just goes to show that live humans are often scarier than spirits. Is he on the stairs? Is he standing there? Where? That's the reaction of a YouTuber's daughter when asked to identify the man on the stairs. Her mom is very curious and wants to know more about what her daughter thinks she is seeing. Where's the man? Where? Man. Show mama where's the man. Man stares, her daughter says in a tiny British accent. It would almost be cute if the paranormal implications weren't so terrifying. After all, she is talking about being watched by a stranger in their own living room. As the video continues, you can tell the girl becomes more afraid to look up from her toys. She obviously does not want to see the man by the stairs anymore. Though I have no idea what he looks like or what he's doing, the girl does not seem to be smiling or showing any other signs of making up a story, so I am inclined to believe this potential ghost sighting could be real. Let me know if you agree or not. All the more reason to stay out of the forest. Published to YouTube by CJ Fashion in April of 2020. The channel writes, Just when I thought a haunted forest couldn't get any scarier, there was an incident inside the Pokemoke forest with a person. Still not sure exactly what is going on with this place, but I can tell you this, something very weird and sketchy is going on in this forest. Pokemoke Forest is located in Maryland and is said to be haunted. Let's find out just how haunted it is. As the crew gets ready to enter the forest, they see a shadow speed across through the woods, and this is only the beginning. They hear something big growling and start to wonder if it could be a bear. As CJ explains, they've been at this site before and he believes his friend Sunny was possessed here. He also notes they're already hearing eerie footsteps all around. They start to explore the forest deeper, hearing noises at all angles. This was. Oh! As many points out, it's at around 28 minutes in that there appears to be a man standing in the forest next to a tree in the distant darkness. <laughs> CJ says that their eyes are playing tricks on them, but I don't know about that. It's like the Where's Waldo of ghost hunts, and Waldo is definitely there. Can you find this unknown thing in the forest? Would you even want to? In some parts of the world, it's customary to never put your shoes on in a hurry. Here's why. How are you doing, Angel? A large snake has coiled up in the toe of his shoe and refuses to get out. If he had put it on without looking, then the snake would have no doubt defended itself. He says that this is a non-venomous juvenile rat snake, and I wanted to know if this is an accurate description. 
I see no bright markings, so I would say he's at least right about the non-venomous part. He gets it out using a hook they keep around just for this purpose and does not seem too worried about it, but as far as I'm concerned, any snake in my shoe should be considered highly dangerous. After watching this creepy video, I might start checking my shoes each time before I put them on. A YouTube channel called Meet the Vloggers goes exploring a haunted cemetery in the United Kingdom in search of an authentic ghost encounter, and they think they've caught a bizarre moment on tape. After a tight squeeze, the three of them are in and immediately feel surrounded by negative energy. First, we've just come into the um, haunted cemetery and we're going to have a look around. It feels really eerie, like really starting to get dark to a lot as well. We're staying here, we're doing exploring, She's man. So this girl doesn't understand what exploring means. One already wants to head back while there is still light to be had, but is quickly persuaded to stay. Night falls and their unwavering dread reaches peak levels. 100%. I'm really not. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What? One of them. Layla sees something ahead but nothing is caught on camera. Aside from an empty walkway, no ghost sighting, at least not yet. Little do they know a fourth person is moments away from joining their trio. They take a few steps forward and Layla begins to freak out again. She must have a sixth sense or something because this time there is frightening paranormal evidence. This is so creepy. Come on, man. No, I'm actually bugging. A strange and mysterious figure silently approaches them without saying a word. Keep in mind this is after hours and they themselves had to sneak in through the gate so whoever this is, they are not likely a visitor. That leaves a maintenance or security, but if that were the case, then they would have said something to three people trespassing. Night has fallen and they are on their way out when they hear some really scary noises that prompt them to move a little faster. Across from them is a humming crying noise coming from some kind of candlelit vigil that they don't want to investigate. If they did, they might have encountered the scariest ghost sighting ever caught on camera. That guy Aaron has $100 to blow, so he orders a deep web mystery box to see what he can find. Inside the box is a typed note suggesting that he made a mistake ordering this box, and things get weirder from there. Aaron slowly begins pulling out items that, when put together, recreate the scene of a horrible atrocity. Duct tape, surgical gloves, zip tie cuffs, and an old hand turned screw that people would use instead of an electric drill are all found inside. Then there's this quick old video clip of a female stranger. Something about this short video feels very dark and sinister. Could the girl seen here also be the same person who these instruments were later used on? I guess that staging all of this would not be that hard. If you ever get lost in your own little world while driving, you may be missing out. Fear is right outside your window. YouTuber Nabs Maya captured this unusual figure on camera, and they are disturbed by it. Watch closely. Because no cars are coming. What they're looking at is that bright pale figure in the middle of the field. It appears to be standing idle. Though the camera is shaky, the figure doesn't move.
You can even see a bird fly past it, undisturbed. What is this thing? It's difficult to tell from such a distance. I think it could be anything. A person, a scarecrow, even a ghost. But these guys are gonna have to get closer to test out my theories. While exploring an abandoned place, this paranormal crew found a demonic doll. What followed next was shocking. Published by Toppy in December of 2021, Sergei takes this rickety staircase into the attic where he finds this creepy doll. After handing the doll to Nastya, they decide to take it with them. Sergei says they sat in the haunted home for 15 minutes and heard noises that were unfortunately not recorded. It's unclear if their cameras malfunctioned or what went on, but they have decided to try and communicate with the spirits through the doll. After the doll tells them let's play, the pair decide to pack it up and head home. But before they do, this happens. Is this doll truly possessed? Or was it just exercised of its demons? What hides in the shadows can oftentimes be shadows themselves. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mego White, the Redditor explains that she and her husband were away from home over a weekend and set up the motion detector Alfred camera app in their room for the surveillance. When they returned from their trip, they were met with this unusual and terrifying video. The clip shows a fuzzy bedroom backdropped by a doorway with either a light on beyond or a natural source of light casting inside the other room. That light shift says something is apparently moving enough to set off the motion sensor. In fact, that something appears to pass right across the doorway, blocking out the light beyond for a moment. You can make out a distinct figure. It's more like a shadow or a vague or even invisible figure that still somehow manages to distort the light. There is definite movement, but from what, we can't know for sure. Redditor JJ740 asks if there was an intrusion, to which Meg answers that all the doors and windows were locked and nothing was missing. She also notes that strange things have been occurring in this house for a matter of months. Like what? Meg explains we can always see a shadow walking out of the office through the wall into my closet, and I always thought I was seeing things until we caught this on camera. She also says in another comment that her kids have heard people talking, and her two-year-old has even started laughing at something in empty rooms of the home. A redditor writes, that's actually genuinely creepy. Of course, as with every potentially paranormal clip, you have your insect theories, but most agree that the clip looks legit and not edited or faked. What do you think? Are you freaked out? I certainly am. A YouTuber named Phoebe Mayhew made a scary face swap video from 2016 that's still an unsolved mystery to this day, and I'm hoping this is the year we can find an answer. So Phoebe makes a joke about having no friends to face swap with. When this invisible presence takes her up on her generous offer to change faces. Hello, anyone? Anyone want? The eerie apparition is apparently above her, and she switches places with something peering in from the highest point of the door. So the only thing in the corner that possibly looks like a face would be the overhead lighting. But when Phoebe tries to recreate the situation, nothing happens. But it's definitely not the light it was doing it to. Because the light's over there and it's not doing it now. Like I said, I don't see anything else in that doorway that could have set off the face swap. Do you? It makes me wonder if something tall and creepy was watching her and then vanished. An outdoor restaurant is about to be creepy and it's all caught on CCTV tape. This top right couple seems to be having an intense conversation. At 10 seconds, there is some chest pounding on both sides. It looks like a bad breakup or something until 25 seconds when he stands up and is ready to storm out but then points at the food lodged in his throat. They weren't having an argument at all. He was slowly becoming more and more unable to breathe. She starts patting him on the back but apparently this is a big mistake. I am not giving any medical advice but the Mayo Clinic says not to do this unless you're trying trained to deliver a special back blow between the shoulder blades. From what I've read, patting someone on the back can sometimes make the food move further down the windpipe and get even more stuck. 
A brave restaurant worker gets behind him, makes a fist with one hand slightly above the belly button, grabs his fist and gives a quick upward thrust as if picking him off the ground for a moment. This is called the Heimlich Maneuver, and it's a good thing somebody in the restaurant knew it. Most states have laws in place for restaurant staff to have this kind of training, and this scary scenario caught on tape is exactly why. I encourage everyone to get the proper training because you never know when this could happen to someone nearby, maybe even you. There must be no scarier feeling than having an entire crowd watch you helplessly while you can't breathe. This man who helped him is truly a hero. Something still haunts this tunnel, and Franco from the YouTube channel Franco TV is delving deep into the belly of the beast. He sees signs that he's not the first one here. It won't be like this for too long. There's even a handprint up there. But it won't be like this for too long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get quiet. In the tunnel, he hears something off-putting. He just heard something there, which caught me. He asks the spirits a question, and they answer via the K2 meter. Si tu estás aquí conmigo, tu puedes hacerlo otra vez? It's going. See? When Franco turns off the lights, the spirits turn them on again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. So it's gonna be really hard to see anything. Okay? Yo voy a apagar todas las luces. As Franco leaves the tunnel, he comes across a makeshift memorial, which seems to indicate that a number of people passed away in this very place. It is actually ridiculously scary. Especially this part here. It looks like several people died over here. Did Franco just communicate with one of them? I have no doubt, and hopefully that communication helped them reach the other side. What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being. Bah humbug. Published by D Dark Past Scary in February of 2022 and originally posted to TikTok by Naoa Ten Kinoshita. Something mysterious is happening in this guy's house. He enters the living room where a Christmas tree is set up, lights twinkling, no one is there. But as he turns around the room, an object is thrown from a shelf. When he goes to retrieve it, he finds the phone has been broken. As he turns on the lights and opens the doors, more activity happens behind him, and finally right in front of him. Even as he flees outside, the spirit isn't done with him yet. Does this spirit have no holiday spirit? Or is it the ghost of Christmas past? This video was taken around Halloween when paranormal investigator and YouTuber The Fam visited the gravesite where famous rapper XXXTentacion was laid to rest. He records the glass door while paying their respects, and you can see the inside of the memorial is empty. But when they pass over the door a second time, something is very different. Look at the bottom left window or you'll miss it. What's especially crazy is how he seems to appear as soon as they leave a hat and harvest pumpkin as tribute. If this video is to be believed, then it's as if he is paying his respects to his fans from beyond the grave. There's an older man who's looking out the window at Jacob Hessler and his friend, and it's freaking them out how he keeps leaving the spot and coming back to stare some more. He's looking over, he's looking over, and now he walks away.
Some people suggest that the old man is simply looking at them because they were looking at him and that they should just leave him alone. But this scenario still requires the old man to look out of his window in the middle of the night to notice they were there in the first place, which is odd. Maybe they were being loud or something, but the way they keep their voices low makes me think they were probably being quiet the whole time. So as it stands, this is a mysterious exchange without words and without explanation. A Nepali YouTube channel named Anish Gurung TV are not full-time ghost investigators, but they do have some paranormal investigation videos in abandoned places they get pretty creepy. An apparition seems to follow them on one of their urban explorations. This is when they first hear it. I want to say that this is the wind, but it's a calm night and this sounds way too much like a haunting moan. They reach the top and look around, feeling the presence of a ghost near them at all times. There's nowhere else left to explore so they go back to the bottom and are about to leave when they hear it again twice. <laughs> but I've saved the best paranormal evidence for last. At 4 minutes and 20 seconds, they capture these eyes and a sigh from behind. <laughs> they didn't hear or see it at the time, but like I said in the beginning, they're not professional ghost investigators and missed some of the scariest things caught on camera. Fishing is supposed to be a relaxing pastime. Kick back with your pole and a cold one, and you're set for a pleasant afternoon spent out on the water. But this video, posted on Reddit by Caesar4321, reveals that fishing can sometimes take an unexpected turn. The clip shows a lucky fisherman reeling in his prize catch, a nice little fish which he pulls out onto the banks of the pond in order to remove it from the line. But as he steps closer to his catch, something pops up out of nowhere. Bet you didn't see that coming. Redditor iMusker commented, They are fishing in literal croc swamps, like they aren't asking for chomps. Asking for it or not, alligator incidents are on the rise in Florida. Moral of the story? Don't disturb those muddy waters, or your bones may be snapped in half by some seriously powerful jaws. Who is standing on the side of this road? While well, driving at night, paranoiacs captured this obscure figure standing there in the darkness. When they back up a moment later, the figure is gone. Where did she go? I think it's probably for the best that she disappeared. This is one hitchhiker you really shouldn't pick up. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? The uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. Sylvia Likens was 16 years old when her life was taken in Indy Indianapolis, Indiana. Likens was held captive for over three months by her caregiver, who subjected her to increasingly brutal things. These things started with no food and increasingly escalated, and lastly, confinement to the basement. The girl was tied there. On the evening of October 25th, a neighbor heard Likens cries for help as she attempted to alert someone to her captivity in the basement. One neighbor did hear her crimes but did not inform police. As the noise ceased at 3 a.m., Likens passed the next day on October 
October 26. All involved were convicted in May of 1966. This video, posted by Redditor Gmos, shows the abandoned house of the teen. She was held captive in the basement here, which is from where the EVP is heard. As the two men walk away from the basement entrance at around 1 minute 53 seconds, you can hear a voice cry out, Help me, clear as day. <laughs> In response to one Redditor who suggests this sound is from children in the street, Gmas admits that it could be, but to him sounds like it's muffled from the inside the basement. He notes the voice sounds distorted, anguished, and not from a living human. I'm usually quite a skeptic, he writes, but would class this video as one of the more compelling pieces of evidence I've seen. Do you find it equally compelling? If so, do you believe like and spirit is still sadly in this basement? There's some terror to be had in this abandoned structure. Published by Terror Al Extremo, this paranormal explorer first encounters these creepy bats hanging upside down like untransformed vampires. The ambiance is set now, and it grows as the cameraman comes across this piece of artwork painted on a stone wall. Is this divining what will come? When he continues to explore the area, suddenly he hears a scream. This is accompanied by what sounds like a blast or some other loud noise. Who is screaming out in this remote wilderness? And what was the sound that followed? Which one of us volunteers to wait around and find out? This spooky midnight sighting is quickly becoming known as the ghost boy under the stairs. It could simply be a bug walking across the camera, but what's weird is how it seems to stay confined to the area under the steps. Then at 15 seconds, it reaches the farthest corner and vanishes. Take a look again and tell me if you think this is real or special effects. Even the person who uploaded this video says they didn't believe in the supernatural until seeing this at their job. What would you do if you saw this happen before your very eyes? Share to TikTok by Tigraz. This crazy video has me doing a double take. The footage shows a girl at a trampoline park jumping up and down like normal. At first, nothing's off, but then... After kneeling, she bends backwards, takes the opposite angles of each leg with her hands, and manages to fold herself around in such a bizarre way that you would think she's possessed. What is this madness? I think this girl is double jointed, also called hypermobile. This involves joints that can move beyond the typical range. About 20% of people are hypermobile, but many are not to this extent. At least there's no need for an exorcism. Take a look at this picture of Patty and Joe Martinez. Do you see anything wrong? Maybe if I circle it for you, it will help. This hideous creature over his shoulder looks like a dog at first, but its nose is too flat and pushed in, and a top row of human teeth form a snickering sneer. The yellow eyes are open as wide as possible, and there's a tiny pupil at the very bottom, meaning it is looking down at you. Photo experts have verified this picture is real, which is absolutely terrifying. After all, there's no reason for anything that scary to be anywhere near a wedding anniversary, especially behind you. Donnie regularly sees what he thinks is a shadow person in his home. It's always in the basement, always coming from the corner of his eye, and always going way too fast to be a normal person. He can feel its anger downstairs, and he knows that it wants to do him harm. Donnie decides to put music on blast to see what kind of reaction he can get on camera. After 20 minutes, this shadow can take no more and races upstairs, causing these lights to move. 
Soon the same angry feeling returns, and Donnie knows that it's back. He starts recording down a dark hall, and these bottles move on their own. You are not welcome here. You and I both heard them fall, but no one else is around to knock them over. At least nobody that I could see. And just around the corner are the stairs leading down to the dark, cold basement. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by a sleep ad 8673, this redditor wrote, Randonautica at its finest. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah. In the middle of the f woods. Um, so the keys have to be in the Yeah. Right? Yeah. The lights came on. It appears this Redditor stumbled upon a creepy abandoned car in the middle of nowhere with the help of Randonautica. In the comments, Chi Jojo said, This is like the third Randonautica video I've seen of cars being abandoned in the middle of the woods. One had a child's voice coming out of nowhere saying, Do you want to play? Strange indeed. To which the Redditor who found this car replied, I'm so glad there's no audible EVPs asking me if I want to play, especially a child child's voice. For some reason, that's even creepier. Somebody on Reddit helped me get the VIN number and ran it. Came back with an alert for a reported stolen vehicle. So it appears this abandoned car was stolen. Now the question on my mind is, who took the car and left it here? A terrible demon has set up shop in this house, and Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to face its wrath. The demon first makes its presence known in the wardrobe. With his nerves on edge, Dennis asks the demon to reveal himself. <laughs> then things get real creepy. Moments later, the demon's face appears on Dennis's camera, after which this happens. <laughs> The demon has definitely been released, and if I were Dennis, I'd be careful. It seems like this one means business. If you ever question the paranormal, maybe test your skepticism with this video. This footage was captured in the Czech Republic and posted in January of 2012. The uploader writes, this footage will prove once and for all ghosts exist. The clip shows a snowy road in the darkness of night. A car is stalled in the road as blizzard-like conditions swirl all around. Then in front of it, a semi-transparent figure appears. There is a glow at the top of what would be its head, like a flame. It stops in the middle of the camera's purview before disappearing again. Some of the comments note that the thing, whatever it is, is moving in the opposite direction as the wind in the snow. Commenter Denise M. Sanders suggests, It was a person who was hit while crossing the road and passed away on the scene. Many agree that this looks like legit paranormal activity. What do you think? Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020. Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. 
As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. The picture has been freaking out the internet in recent months. A man in all white stands motionless on the other side of a fence in the forest, hands at his sides, and there's something about his eerie eyes, or lack thereof, that made people feel extra uneasy. I've been looking for a source of his picture because I've seen it featured on other channels and I finally discovered where this photo is from. This is actually a still frame taken from a popular television series called Doctor Who. The character is called The Watcher. This photo is commonly shared in the Spanish-speaking countdown community, and maybe those YouTubers aren't aware of the show. So if you've ever seen this photo on a different list, now you know where it's from. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.